few managers I know used to come at half time. If you weren't doing well, he wouldn't dwell on it. <clears throat> he put it right. Absolutely. He wouldn't come in and say you should have done that there Too or late. you should. Yeah. Too he late. would come. The only time he ever did that, I think, it was at West Ham once when he just walked in the dressing room. We were losing. <laughs> walked in the dressing room. Walked straight through the toilet. Came back out. He went, "You crap." Just walk oh, really? back out again. That was it. That was it. Absolutely, that's the only time I've ever seen him. So we must have been pretty poor that he couldn't even think to put it right. Yeah. We drew the game to all, but we could have easily have won at the end. Um, but the goal was, uh, you know, it was probably one of the best goals I've scored in my career. You know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have spread around the country or anything. I mean, the perfect example is the World Cup. How you, you know, like you can't get on a bigger stage than that. And how you got over that? Oh. But I'm, I've got the greatest admiration for you because I, I don't know as well I could have handled that. I said, Martin, that was that was intense. You know, that was a lot of people asking me a lot of questions. He said, well, there were about four billion people watching the game. Terry Venables didn't mind Alan Mullery at all, but I don't think Mullery liked Venables at all. No, there's a, there's a and, huge, and obviously yeah. everything that went on here, it was hard for us. Having worked with Terry, yeah. he tried to change. To step away, and he wanted, he wanted to almost, you know, if, if Terry, changing. if Terry took us away on a Friday night. Alan Mullery didn't want to take his way on the Friday night. Yeah. He, he almost did yeah. exactly the opposite of whatever Terry did. Burton seems to have lashed out at Tevez. I realised I was going to get sent off. So my perverted thought process was, if I can get one of their players to bite on it and react, then we're going to be 10, 10 apiece, which gives QPR a better chance. And Joey Barton stares controversy in the face again. What would I say to myself as a fan? I, I don't know, I'd have been disappointed. I don't blame anyone for criticising me because I deserved it. And listen to the cheer going round the ground here. This is a little bit full. I remember he, uh, I played against Liverpool and was terrible and the crowd booed me off, which didn't help but was probably deserved. The cheer is that Joey Barton's going off. You stop becoming a self-obsessed egomaniac, which I could have been labelled as before. It became a breaking point when I thought, you know what, I'm trying to please everybody, I'm trying to be everyone's friend, I'm trying to help everyone in the team. And basically, I'm done with it. In my case, I've probably got to the point where I was trying too hard to win them over. Um, and, you know, just, it didn't happen. Uh,